Hi, this is Gabe with HTP. Today we're going to be welding with our InverArc 200 TLP. We've already seen the capabilities of this machine with stick welding. Today we're actually going to be doing some TIG welding. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and what we're going to be welding with. So to get this thing TIG welded, we're going to need a torch. Today we're going to be using a CK17 valved torch with an Edge Pyrex gas lens cup. We're going to need our TIG foot pedal, uh, which is set up specifically for this machine. Also, you are going to need an argon regulator and a gas uh, line in order to get this thing going. All right, we're going to go ahead and set this up for TIG welding, so the first thing you want to do is go to your select mode and go down to the actual TIG section which is located right here. Um, another thing you want to do is go ahead and set your amperage to whatever you want to set it to because once we put the foot pedal in it's actually going to display only your starting amperage and not your final. So as soon as I plug the foot pedal in this thing's going to go down to four. Next thing you want to do is actually put your ground cable in the positive receptacle since we are TIG welding. And we're going to go ahead and put our torch in the negative. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and put in our foot pedal. As you can see, the display went down to your starting current. So our other function that we're going to be using uh, in this video as well is we're going to be using our pulse function which if you hit your pulse it'll give you your pulses per second. Uh, there you go pulses per second. Right now it's set for five. Um, typically where I set it at is about one, one and a half is where I'm comfortable with but you can put it at whatever you want to put it at. And now when the light is displayed solid like this, this will mean we're in our, our pulse function. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and shut that off by holding the function button until it is no longer lit up. So another thing you, you notice is that you have this little dot right here in the lower right corner that is flashing. That guy is, is telling you that the foot pedal is recognized. So when the foot pedal is plugged in, you'll see that little flashing light and that will tell you you are uh, running on the foot pedal. All right, so the great thing about this machine is it's a 200 amp DC only um, TIG machine. One thing that you have to get used to is that you are gonna need a valve torch and this is gonna be a lift arc start. So there is no high frequency on this. Also, this machine is not capable of AC. So today I'm gonna be welding some 16 gauge uh, 304 stainless. Uh, I'm only doing just a little bit of runs. Normally I would be wearing a respirator. In this case you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm saying. So just because uh, we're doing a little bit, I'm going to not use a respirator today. Uh, as far as our argon flow, I'm going to be running roughly about 25-ish, 28 uh, CHF. Uh, that's link directly to this valve so the moment you crack it you'll hear the gas flow so in order to initiate the start uh, as far as the arc start you're going to have to go ahead and hit the pedal down touch and lift and that will get it to fire And post oh. Beautiful. All right, so this is the weld we just completed. As you can see, the heat affected zone is even on both sides. We have nice spacing. We have no high and low. The only thing that we have here is a little discoloration towards the end, and that's just the nature of the weld. Uh, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and use the pulse function. 
we're gonna go ahead and light up our pulse function and we're gonna run 1.5 pulses per second. Um, and typically with pulse function, you almost wanna double the amperage that you're, you were using. So for that last weld, I was at 52 amps. So we're gonna run, well, we're gonna call it 9800. Uh, and that should get us right in that ballpark. One thing that we are gonna use is our 2T or slope down. So we're gonna hit our button until it displays that. I have it for 0.3 seconds. And what that'll do is when you're actually lifting off the arc, it'll gradually come off so you don't have to lift to break the arc. We're gonna go ahead and pulse weld. Um, in this case, I'm at about 72 amps. And my pulses per second, I'm actually gonna go to one second. One pulse per second, and we're gonna give this a run. All right, next up we're gonna weld a little bit of mild steel and go through the settings with that. So since we're gonna use mild steel, I'm actually not gonna use pulse, so I'm gonna hold this button down until it goes away. Now our pulse is off. We're gonna actually set our slope down just a hair longer. Also when you're welding and after you completed a weld, the machine does not turn off the gas. So don't forget to turn your valve off or you're just gonna be wasting some money there. We were TIG welding with our Inver Arc 200 TLP. It's our gas TIG torch. And those were basically how to get started with uh, TIG welding. So we did a little bit of stainless, a little bit of carbon steel. Um, you should be good to go moving forward. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Any questions, down below.